Hello, Crash I friends. I us join the patrol soon. The search must be going badly. Oh, is that so? Crash, Youth well. Kunarel? What if they don't find the weapon? Do we even know it? All oh, right, the weapon. The mystic? But, but you can't be here. I can't be seen with you. That's your cry. Quenny Rel, the Inquisition have more to worry about than who you talk to in the corridors. Yeah. That's, um, important. Uh, qu'est-ce que c'est une Inquisition? Our Queen's eyes and ears. Ah. They're her will incarnate. And right now, they're here. I see. That sounds bad. Oh, where's your boss? See? <sighs> I told you. Nothing to worry about. She's in her quarters. Through those doors. Okay. Oh, uh, is there a person getting kicked? Why are you kicking that person? Don't kick- Shocky! When you have a chance to kill your enemy, you take it. Why are we kicking Very a person? Well. Kachoki! We are training to fight Gake! You think they will hesitate? They won't need to if we keep killing each other for them. I it's stupid! Orphi Silence! It seems your child is prattling, is attracting an audience. Hi there! You fight again. This time, daggers only. And to the death, as instructed. To the death? Who wants to challenge this sniveling Istark? I mean... Buddy. Buddy, you shouldn't ought to kill your guys. You probably shouldn't ought to kill your... This is a DC-21? Well... I mean, fuck you, I have a plus 15. And I'm good at this. It's indicated by the... Plus... 15. Um... So anyway. And yet here you are, pathetically pleading for the same useless mercy. This is how we deal with a weakened enemy. Oh. Ah, a true warrior's kill. Quick, bloody, and a scream to curdle the stomach juices of Vlakif herself. Move him out of the way. We've wasted enough time already. I see. Okay, so we got a kid killed. Good job. Glad we came into this room. Oh, Let's poor, have a look. poor dead youth Varl. They're not going to be mad if I loot his corpse, though. What you have on your person, youth Varl? Oh, you had you, you had a you had a book and a potion and ooh, some studded leather. On. You had some good shit, man. You you had had good shit, which we're gonna Mercy we're gonna have for ourselves. It's down this way, I wonder. Hi there, small portrait of Vlacketh. This imposing portrait depicts a powerful Githyanki warrior, undeniably regal in her mien. Vlacketh herself. She is both the sun that blinds us and the void that contains us. Praise be. In the corner of the painting is a small symbol you can't quite place. Mmm. <laughs> Dexter, no. Oh my god, no. Oh, this is a great way to get everyone, including Lazelle, to immediately try to kill you. Uh, tell me more about this symbol. I am not doing that. Also, this is a DC 21, so... You know... Uh, no. I tried. I tried. I, I, I couldn't even lucky that one. As hard as you rack your brain, the symbol doesn't look like anything you've seen before. That's a shame. I, I'm not drawing a new face on it. That's a bad idea. This Githyanki looks different from the others you've seen here. The way her stark white skin stretches over her sharp features gives her a distinctly otherworldly aspect. Hmm. Absolutely not defacing the portrait of Flacketh. I'm not stupid. At least in character. Oh, it's the infirmary. Good, that's where we're supposed to be. 
Okay, so you've conjured yourself a little mage hand. That's neat. Focus. Focus. Hi, dear Koss. I've not met Istic before. Do you all look like that? Like what? Dick Be There's a child in the box. Why is there a child in this box? Even further Why are you eating the child in this box? Not now, Kachucky! We're busy! <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Mm. Is it a gnome? Mm, no. All right, fine. Have fun. Children. So if we go this way, we find... Oh, ho. oh hi. Oh, big imposing awesome room. Oh. Oh, big imposing awesome room. Oh, hi. Big imposing awesome room with... With nautiloid tanks. Oh, wait. Nautiloid tanks. And, um... And, oh. Oh, that does look rather familiar, doesn't it? Um. Um. Well. This'll be fine. Vertical incision from pineal eye to end of notochord. Hi there. Intestinal coloration consistent with samples 231 to 259. Do you have a question? Or are you just going to stand there gawking? Uh, a little column A, a little column B. I am a gift, not discarded rat flesh. Am I not due your respect? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Let the istic with you speak. And I will decide what respect you're owed. All right, fine. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, what are you hoping to learn? Nothing your kind is capable of understanding. The better question is, what brings an istic to my infirmary? One of those, actually. It's in my eye. Also, I kind of ate, like, four more, and they're eating my brain. And uh, this, th this chick is very hot. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong, Parlor Ghost. Uh, uh, you, you do seem, in fact, a favorable teacher. Yes, let, let, I have a plus 13. Don't fuck it up like you did the last persuasion roll with the gift. Okay, I, if Celeste keeps rolling low on these checks to persuade gift, we're gonna have to wonder if there's a reason for that. Like, maybe she's distracted. I have no desire to teach, though your request is understandable. You do not gain true knowledge by demanding it of others. It must be earned. Okay. Let's see what knowledge your labors have borne so far. Interesting. Tell me, what is your understanding of ceramorphosis? It's really supposed to fuck with you. Um, uh, <laughs> it's supposed to be bad. I suspected as much. Though I am fascinated that you've retained the ability to lie about it. Aww. You aren't the first istic to require my treatment. Though you're the most lucid by some margin. Either your tadpole is special, or you are. <laughs> we must find out which. <laughs> I can't! Go Celeste is just covered in blood! I will ensure you're cured. Okay. Uh, what exactly is it going to do here? It will relieve you of the specimen lodged in your cerebral cortex. What else? I don't it believe you. It will be worth it. I assure you. Even Gith Yankee rarely experiences atheism. You are very lucky, Istic. I don't believe you, and yet... Okay. On the one hand... Sexy Vision Jennifer Lawrence told me that nothing and nobody is ever going to get this fucker out of my brain, so I might as well just help her. On the other hand, I am starting to believe that Sexy Vision Jennifer Lawrence might not actually have, say, my best interests at heart. So, uh, we're back to the possibility of getting this shit the fuck out of my brain, 
which would mean that, you know, my options are uh, some rando in Baldur's Gate, which is a city that fucking doesn't exist. I've never been there. It can't possibly be real. Or Volo, the, the weird fucker who dresses funny and hangs out in my camp. Or uh, this chick. And this chick at least sounds smart. So, you know, this will probably be fine, unless it's not fine. The device is strange, made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. The Zathisk. Vlacket's purity distilled. My duty. My right. Oh, do you want to go first? I mean... If you want to go first, you can go first, but let's have a look at it first. Well, I could get lucky. Yeah, if you want to go first, you can go first. The device is part organic, part synthetic, but you can't tell how it was made or how it works. Okay. Stand aside. My time has come. Everybody say bye, Lazel. Bye, Lazel. It's been fun. We'll, uh... We'll have Halson multi-class fighter for you. Praise Vlacketh. Let it be done. Sit, child. Let the Zathisk end your suffering. Yeah, don't phrase it like that. Yeah, don't phrase it like that. Oh, it's gonna rip a thing out of her brain and also her brain out of her brain. Oh boy. Oh, this is not gonna, you should really take off your you helmet. You focus on the parasite at all times. The Zathisk. We'll do the rest. I feel like you shouldn't be wearing your helmet for this. I feel, well, um, uh-oh. An unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazel's. I like how Gail's just chilling. Psionic forces batter Lazel's thoughts. There is no chance she will survive this unscathed. What do you mean unscathed? Yeah. Also, there's no chance for me to stop it. You're just like, oh, by the way, Lazel's fucked. Northern. Yes, child, speak the Talakit. Meditate on its verses. Oh, boy. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? Uh-oh. Um. Okay. So. Uh, the cure. Well. She, the, fuck. S narrator lady said she won't, okay. Y you know, this is a bad, this might actually be a bad idea, Lazel. Have we considered the possibility that this is a bad idea? It's DC 30. Well, okay. It does make sense that it would be a very high DC because like, this is Lazel's thing. This is Lazel's people doing. Oh. Balderdash. Ah! I got a 29! Why can't Karlak give me her plus two thing? Why can't Karlak give me her plus two no. thing? Fuck it! Purge me of this blight! Oh boy. You share in Lazel's agony. Every cell within her skull bursts into a constellation of fragments, sorted and reassembled. Lazel will die if she remains. Yes, child. Jama, Zala, Blackit, call to your queen. <gasps> My queen, hear me! You're gonna see her in a second. Your vision narrows. You sense myriad specters of Githyanki past. This is their fate. This is their anguish. Um.
Well, sh shit. Uh. Okay, so. So I can lie to Lazelle and get her the fuck out of there. That's another DC fucking 30. Uh, that's DC 21. So both of these are just rolling at 20. Both of these are just rolling at 20 or Lazelle's fucking dead. Fuck, 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 fuck. And again, I say fuck. All right. Lazelle, you got to get out of there, bud. Karlak, can you give me your friends thing? Your plus two thing? Your, oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. I am becoming cured. Becoming dead. Yes, child. Faith's her will. Your marrow quakes within your bones. Behind the pain, a new sensation rises. Power. Remove her. Oh. Oh, I can just do that? Oh, I can just do that? I can have more power? It's DC 30. I could roll a nat 20 and not get that. Um. Um. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, this is fine. Oh, this is not good. Why did I burn all of my inspirations? The pain is too great. The visions flicker, but refuse to come into focus. Is now a good time to mention that if she dies, she dies, and I'm not saves coming to rest to bring her back? Cause listen, that's a thing. Um. Okay. Well. Man, I, sh I probably should have stayed Ranger, huh? Um, what's the DC on the Arcana check? It's also DC 30. Okay, so both of these are just rolling at 20. Mind, my power, my power. Mwahaha, mwahaha, ha. Nope. Oh boy. The Zathisk overwhelms the both of you. The weight of the astral sea crushes your mind and spirit. Oh boy. Aye! Oh, hi! Damn it all! The parasite! I still feel it! I am Githyanki! I will not be Geich! My life's work! Gone! And yet she lives, and so does her parasite. Her voice cuts with a fanatical edge, an obsession bordering on mania. If there's a chance the parasite lives, she wants it. Hi there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. I don't know. And I want to be very clear here, don't tell me. I don't know if there, there must have been a chance that the game just fucking killed Lazelle there. Like, if you just, hmm. Hmm. I feel like the game would not pull all of its punches and just fucking kill Lazel there. So, uh, y you know, your thing was going to kill my friend, lady. I, 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 okay. If Lazel had not already said that she felt the parasite was still alive, I would try to be like, no, you're wrong. It's definitely dead. But, um... I don't think Lazelle's gonna go for that. I think Lazelle's gonna be like, wait a second, no, it's still alive. So, yeah, your thing was gonna kill my chick the here. The Zathisk does not fail. 
The only variable in this experience was you and your parasite. And I will uncover how this happened. Wait here. I will gather my tools. You'll do what? No! I followed the protocol! I must be cleansed! That was too close. You were lucky I was there to save you once again. Thanks, Jennifer Lawrence. Also, I was specifically told not to let the lady escape the room, and the lady escaped the room on uh, on in a cutscene, so it must be fine. Also, hi, Lazelle. I followed protocol. I kept to my faith. Yet the Zathisk might have killed me. The gust still tampered with it. Traitor. And there may be more still. This must be why the Inquisitors come. Um... I don't... I don't... I don't think... Lazel, your logic isn't logicking here. Vlakith does not abandon Githyanki. The Zathis was tampered with. There is no other explanation. Mm. Now hurry. We must go to the Chirai and inform him of the Doctor's sedition. Um... Well... Man... Okay, if I had a nickel for every chick in my party who has a slavish fanatical devotion to something that's been part of their entire life that is slowly over the course of the game being revealed to very obviously be a cult, but I don't quite know how to tell her that her slavish fanatical devotion to something that's definitely a cult is, um, bad. I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened twice. Also, Lazelle's mad that I cast friends on her. So... Oops. Also, I'm locked in this room. The doctor chick locked the door. I am not supposed to leave. I feel as though there was an operative word in that sentence, though. I'm not supposed to leave. Wonder what's past this. Hold on. There's not another exit I'm missing, right? This is just... Nope. No, okay, that is the way I came in and she locked the door. I am locked in this room. I don't think it would be good for me to stay in this room. I think it might be bad. You have a DC 10 lock on your door, folks. It's not... I have failed. I have failed again. We have so many thieves tools. It's fine. We don't need a star in. I can do it. I can do it. I'm Dexy. Give me all of the decks and chances. Okay, so we can get out of here, but first we could also just Lazelle, are you going to be mad if we... Well, you don't like this doctor. So presumably, if you don't like this doctor, you wouldn't mind me robbing this doctor, right? That that tracks and is logical. This is mine. Also, apparently... Oh, hi! Oh, you're back. And you brought friends. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have robbed her. Okay. Well. Uh, yeah, the good news is, uh, listen, we can just, um, can form a nice orderly line of death here, eventually. Hey, you know what I have? 
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have a scroll of Wall of Fire. What if I, like, cast Wall of Fire? C can, can I cast Wall of Fire? Because if I... Hold on. Hold on. Oh! Oh! Oh, the wall doesn't... Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, so if it starts here, it gets that. But if it starts here and goes all the way out here... That's going to hit so many people. Okay, then. Um. So. <laughs> so, let's look at this from the Gith Yankee perspective, right? Uh, their friend Lazel and Lazel's three weird friends come in, all claiming to have bugs in their eye. And the doctor tries to put Lazel in the kill you to death and rip out your bug machine. But then the kill you to death and rip out your bug machine blows up, which is weird. So the doctor goes to get help so that they can murder Lazelle and her friend and rip the bugs out of their respective brains. But when they open the door, two things happen. One, they catch one of Lazelle's friends stealing the doctor's shit. And two, that same friend of Lazel's runs over in front of a kid, pulls a scroll out of her bag, says some magic words, and ignites an entire hallway, killing people and setting the whole goddamn building on fire! That went well! It was a good turn, Celeste. Oh, you died. You there, shit bastard. You Don't appear to have died. Hey, Gail. Gail, can you just cast Hail of Thorns on somebody? Do you have any way of doing any damage to anyone right now? No. There's fire. There's so much fire. Oh, wait. That's a 65% chance. Do it. Don't set yourself on fire. Oh, yes. Oh! I just had Gale do 30 damage to himself, and he got counterspelled. Bad job, Gale. Not a fan of you having done that. Why did you step on the actual fire, you stupid dumbass? Hey, Lazelle. Can you rally Gale, please? Thank you. Good turn, Lazelle. What are you idiots doing? What are you stupid idiots doing? Potion of healing, you can second wind. Um, this has to be on a melee attack. Yeah, I think we're just... um. I think we're okay. <laughs> Buddy. 
Did you just poof closer to the fire? Don't cast a spell on Gale. Gale has eight hit points. Jerk. Hey, Celeste. Celeste, would be would you be so kind as to cast a... Uh, you know what? Uh, you've got third level spell slots. Gale needs hit points. Gale needs hit points badly. Oh my god! You counterspelled my cure wounds? You butthead! You dick! <laughs> you counterspelled my cure wounds! That's exceedingly unhelpful. All right, um, hey, do we have anything awesome that we can do on, say, fucking around with shit? Gail, can you see anybody? Okay, so you can see this youth. Uh, is, is there a doctor around? Where, where's, where's Dr. Dr. Butthead? Hold on, where is Dr. Butthead? Oh, Dr. Butthead's over here. Okay, can you see Dr. Butthead? Because Dr. Butthead just used her counter spell. I can magic missile through the fire at you. Fuck you, Dr. Butthead. Also, I should probably just take a potion if you're gonna fucking counterspell my freaking cure wounds. Honestly. All right, hold on. I have nine potions of greater healing. Yeah, we're gonna have Gale drink one of them. That's fine. Good turn, Gale. You know what? Don't be. Let's light them up. Don't be in the fight there. Okay. Lazel. Uh, I mean, you, you might as well Make stand way. here and look intimidating. Good job. What's your plan here, kid? Oh, bad plan. I don't think that was a good plan. I think you might have had a bad plan there. Just speaking personally. Uh, good turn, Carlac. Y'all are dumb. Y'all are real fucking dumb. Another my- Oh my god. I have three more bugs to put in my brain? Oh. Oh, that's gonna go wonderfully. That's never gonna have any negative consequences for me as a player or character. Oh, what can we do with three of these things? Oh! Oh, friends and pals, what do we have here? Conjure a vol volatile shield around yourself or an ally, granting them 10 temporary hit points. If they're lost, the shield bursts, possibly stunning nearby foes. Oh, wow. So, so you send a tank in to fuck some dude's shit up, and then you give them temp HP, and then the shit hits the tank, and then the t and then the temp HP goes away, and then the shield explodes, and then the shit's all wonky, and then the tank chops the shit in half. <laughs> that sounds amazing. I want that. Here, that's even worth taking transfuse health to get. Give me that right now. Uh, channel the dark allure of the tadpole to charm an enemy that attacks you, preventing them from attacking you until their next turn. Yeah, sure, do that. Bugs in brains, bugs in brains, bugs in brains, bugs in brains. I've got so many bugs in my brains. My brain is made out of bugs. And also brain, it feeds the bugs. All right, is there any more dead? Oh, there are so many dead people here. Man, this was probably supposed to be like hard. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't have had a fucking scroll of wall of fire at a perfect time to cast wall of fire. <laughs> this was supposed to be a hard fight. It was supposed to be scary. Let's just leave and, oh, hi. Hello. 
just gonna close this door. I'm just gonna close this door and never go there. All right, so I think we've decided we don't like these people, right? I think that's a... Uh, I think we've decided that we don't like these people. Well, there's a rule we have about people we don't like, and that's uh, their shit is mine. It seems your actions have earned you an enemy and a fight. Oh, seriously? Okay, what's the fucking point of the... I guess maybe I should have hidden first? Okay, I guess it's reasonable to suspect that I probably should have hidden first. Okay, killing this guy might end poorly for us, but... Oh my word. You know. We don't have to... Uh, we can do it quickly. It'll be fine. Carlac, I need you to, uh... Wonder if the gods are watching me. Nope. Carlac. Wanna dance? Carlac, I need you to add this man to your inventory. Thank you. Also, Carlac, I need you to investigate this wooden crate. Also, Carlac, I need you to put this man in this wooden crate. Thank you. On my way. Everyone get away from the wooden crate containing the body of a dude. It's fine. Is it fine? Warrior Yurik? Is it fine? It's fine! <laughs> Finally over. Hey, you know, it occurs to me that there's no real reason for me to still be here. Is there? Oh, take Lazelle to the Inquisitor. Oh, right, there's an Inquisitor. Oh, right. Hello. Oh. Please, Chitrai, I can explain. The latest batch of cultists knew nothing of the Astral Prism. They were just trying to find Moonrise. They all head there. My Gish have drafted plans to assault the tower. They are ready to fight, Chitrai. We could sift the missing artifact from the tower's ashes if you would give us... Quiet. Find the Astral Prism, Therizin. My patience falters. Yes, Chirai. You heard okay. him. Go! Do as she says. She remains your Kithrak. For now. Hmm. Uh, oh, hi. Oh, you have wolf, you have wolf friends. All right. Well, uh, before we do anything with you, let's go chat with your wolf friends. Won't say a dwarf, armor and all. Took me a whole ten day to pass him. Gross. What do you say for yourself, Dahak? If she keeps making me eat armor, I'm going on a hunger strike. It's a smart wolf. Don't eat the armor. Hey, don't make. Hey, Kithrak, your wolf doesn't like eating armor. An istic in my crash. You are one of the mercenaries sent to bring the weapon. Am the I? The stick is with me, honored Kithrak. So noted. But my question goes unanswered. Do you bring the weapon? No. Don't tell her anything. We're gonna say... No? I think we're gonna say no. I'm gonna go with no, I definitely don't have it. Also, um, what weapon? It is small, angular, metal, adorned with Tirsu script, stolen by true soul heretics. You realize she seeks the artifact you carry. Yeah, we knew that. What was that look? You know something. Do you have it? Guts. Do, 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 do you have it? Da na 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 na. Do you have it? Da na 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 na. Do you have it? No, I don't have it. Clearly. 
Then stop wasting my time, <laughs> Istik. <laughs> oh, you're fun. You are one I of like the mercenaries you. we engaged, are you not? Uh, no, actually. Uh, I'm here to loot the place. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll go looking. I have business to attend to. Return with the weapon, or do not return at all. Hmm. Conversation didn't go well. Let's try it again. I presume you are not stupid enough to return empty-handed. So, give me the weapon now. No, you had like four more conversation topics, so, oh. All right, fine, I don't have it. I still don't have it. Also, we're friends. See, we're friends. I mean, I could give it to her and then kill her, but that would be rude. Time is finite, as is my patience. Go! All right, fine, lady. All right, so where's the fucking Inquisitor then? I thought that, well, he was he was in here, but then he left. So he went somewhere else. I'll Stupid Inquisitor. Shot. How dare an Inquisitor leave? I gotta chop off his arm. Make him fight a bald elf. Dragon Age jokes! He's through that blocked door. What blocked door? Is this a blocked door? I thought it was a weird magic portal thing. Is it just a, oh, oh! Oh, hi. Oh, oh, there's a whole thing here. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, can I can I go through this? That's that's a Githyanki barrier disruptor. Am I supposed to disrupt this barrier? Am I allowed to disrupt this barrier? Are you gonna get mad at me if I uh, if I disrupt this barrier? Request permission to disrupt this barrier. Insert items. What items? What do I? Oh, I can just. Um, so there's presumably a thing which I'm supposed to put in here. So if I had told the Kithrak the truth, she would just let me through. But now that I've lied to her and told her that I'm looking for the artifact, the only way I'm getting through there is if I take it from her. Which means I have to either pickpocket or murder her. Which... Seems dicey. All right, here's the thing. I don't want to give her the thing. I don't want to straight up murder her, but I am willing to murder her. So. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put everybody over here, right? We're gonna put everybody over here. Everybody's going to be vaguely over here. Now that everybody's vaguely over here, we're going to ungroup the party. And having successfully ungrouped the party, we're going to put uh, Celeste back here. And Celeste, the invisible fuck that she is, is going to hide. All right. Time to skulk about. And now that Celeste is hidden, we're gonna pick pack at the Kithrak. And it's gonna go fine. Carefully now. And we're just gonna take the Gith shard. And I have to roll a d20 plus two and get higher than nine. And I did that. If not over, then through. You had one thing on your person. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think someone took your thing? Do you think someone took your thing? I don't hear you. I'm leaving. There's a pickpocket operating nearby. You feel the arrow of suspicion pointing your way. Who, me? Moi? You accuse me? 
Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, Kithrak. Let me see if I follow your logic here, right? Your logic. So you saw me and my three friends stand in front of you. And then you saw me walk behind you. And then you looked at my three friends for a while. And then you noticed... And, and then you saw me come back from behind you to being in front of you. And then you saw me and my friends hurriedly start to leave. And then you noticed you didn't have your key. And you somehow conclude that I stole your key? I, I, I am insulted. I am hurt. I am wounded. Never in my life have I your ever speaks for itself. It seems you're free to go. Have I ever been so insulted? Someone's been rifling through the wrong pockets. You sense now would be a good time to clarify if that someone is you. I just told you that I don't have it. I just told you I don't have it do I look like the sort of person who would reach it I would well I you insult me madam you hurt me you wound me to the core I thought we were friends like magically influential friends. I... You've been given the benefit of the doubt this time, but something tells you next time oh. you won't be so lucky. You insult my name, my honor, my legacy, my family, my heritage, and my soul by the mere suggestion that I might steal your key to this weird, fancy magic door. How dare you, Kithrak Therizin shit basket motherfucker, suggest that I could possibly steal your key to this magic door. Anyway, I'm now going to unlock this magic door using this key I found and just go through. It'll be totally fine. You're awful, madam. Be. Oh, it is you. Istark, I will not have you sneaking through my crash. Oh. Quiet, Therizin. I wish to speak with this one. Oh, the thing talks. As you wish, Chirai. Make haste. We have business to conduct. Awesome. 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 Another step forward. Fuck you, Kithrak. I'm sorry, you have 89 guys going to your house. You don't get to be mad about stuff. You have 89 guys. <laughs> the fuck is this? You've got 89 guys. Why are you mad? You have 89 guys. I don't even like guys and I'd be happy with 89 guys.